the old days. I received an email regarding the last video I did, the snake and the rod, wherein I pointed out that in the area of our planet called the USA, the symbol most often used for medicine is the caduceus. And that the caduceus is the symbol of commerce, making money, profiting materially, not healing and health. That the true symbol for healing is the rod of Asclepius used elsewhere on our planet. The email came from an elderly friend and read in part as follows. When I was a kid, we had a family doctor that made house calls and charged three dollars a visit. Drugs consisted of aspirin. I broke bones in my foot and he stuck a wooden tongue depressor in my shoe. Testing consisted of his stethoscope and or probing fingers. Today, all that has been replaced by medical plans, which are solely a collection of profit centers with doctors as the sales force. When I became of Medicare age, I was forced to sign up or forfeit my benefits from my retirement plan. From then on, when I went to Kaiser for a problem, my paperwork was stamped in large red letters, Medicare. This was a literal red flag for the doctors to steer me to as many profit centers, surgery ward, test labs, pharmacy, as possible, so that Medicare could be billed the maximum amount. Oh, and they wanted me to increase the frequency of my visits and began bombarding me with emails and snail mails to that effect. Feeling good? Come in and we will find something wrong with you and send you to a profit center. I'd say my friend nails it. Small wonder they use the symbol of profit and not healing. The email went on to say, Okay, now the money thing. Money is long gone. Now we have the debt thing. If you have no debt like me, but put money into a bank, it immediately disappears as a loan to a third party, with the bank creating ten or more times your deposit in new money for themselves. They now owe you your original deposit, which they can legally choose not to pay you. This is called a bail-in. If you write a check to someone, the bank now owes them the money and not you. They put the money back into the banking system where the process starts over. It could end any time, but for the few people who have 99% of the wealth of the world. But it can't last forever. Again, my friend has a clue, though the money is debt idea does not dig into the foundation of why we exchange to survive that being the human energy scarcity in the past. The idea of ensuring that everyone adds their fair share of energy to the community allowed the exchange to survive concept to arise. Today, of course, with AI, robots, and unemployed people galore, the need to make sure we add our fair share of energy is absurd, and this is creating huge amounts of poverty. The question becomes, do we want to have doctors that only want to help us stay healthy in exchange for the reputation they receive, or doctors motivated to keep us sick so as to keep us coming back? Do we want medicines that are healthy and cure us? Or patentable chemicals that hide symptoms and create new issues we have to deal with? Do we want to live as richly as we choose? All of us! 
Or do we want to keep plugging our energy in in any way we can find for the accounting tokens, the slave tokens we use to survive? Do we want a totalitarian regime controlling us 24-7? Or do we want freedom within ethics? No, it can't last forever. Do we want to go forth now to build better? Or wait until it all collapses into pandemonium, where little will be accomplished for a long while? The personal steps you can take is to publicly withdraw your consent from being ruled, see Setting Myself Free, linked in the description, and share awareness of the blueprint I offer, also linked. If you are in a position to build the infrastructure described in the blueprint, do so. Experiment with free energy and share successes freely. Build a decentralized, open-sourced web. Create a website, open source, to report and solve problems on. Build robots to handle the necessary things no one wants to do, or not enough of us. A commode cleaning robot would be awesome. If your work manifests, you will earn much in social currency. Reputation, respect, thanks, lauds, fame, appreciation, glorification, historical note, bragging rights, and more. And humanity can all live as richly as we choose. You and doctors, researchers, architects, engineers, artists of all kinds, and two, doing what we love to do. We can create better here on our planet than what the psychopaths presently in control are creating for us. Amaterasu Solar, Chill for Humanity. Love Always. Humanity will win.